everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Shannon and if you're returning welcome back so today I am using curling rods in my curls um, this isn't something I do every day or even often I usually only use them if I need to get my bangs to curl and if I do use my bangs I use really little ones um, but in today's video I am showing you how I do curling rods which is a little bit different from how other people do curling rods just because I've experimented and this is where I like to go with my curling rods. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I do suggest watching the entire video through or even um, fast forwarding it through the parts you already know or whatever. Because at the end, there are a surprise that happens with my hair. So I would want you guys to watch that just so you know and can avoid what I did. But if you like the video, please watch it through and I hope you guys are enjoying your day and let's get into it. Alright everyone, so like I said, I am doing curling rods today. Um, I already did half of my head because, to be honest, I don't do this often so I wanted, I had to get like back into the groove of how I do things and you can even see like some of them. Um, once I take these out, I'm going to have to put a little bit of TLC into it. But I just wanted to do some of it and then I'll do the other side on camera with you guys. Um, the nice thing about this is it's no heat. It's really easy to do. And plus, um, most people do it. I don't know how you guys do it, but they do it before they go to bed. And then you wake up, take it out, you're good to go. You know, separate some of your curls and you're good. I cannot sleep with these in. Um... No, I, I cannot, so I don't. What I do is I will do this, I do it during the day, and then I kind of just hang out. Um, you can blow dry them if you have a full on, one of the blow dryers that cover your head, you can do that as well, or you can just let them air dry, so a couple different options. But, um, so this is what I have left of my, left over in my hair, we'll go with that. And I'm just literally, I just get out a little section. Now my curling rods are different sizes. I like my curls to be different sizes. I found that that gives them a little bit more volume. Plus it keeps my curls from sticking together. So I have different sizes. It comes in this. I got it off of Amazon. Um, the sizes are 7 eighths, 11 16th, 5 eighths, 9 16th, 1 half, 7 16th, and 3 eighths. And yeah, so they're in a whole bunch of different colors, different sizes. This was literally like not even $5. So yeah, I don't know. You could probably find them cheaper than that, but yeah. So what I have in my hair right now is, I actually don't even have it near me. It is a leave in like curling butter. Um, I'll have to link it down below, but that's all I have in it. Um, next I'm just gonna take so in here is actually not water it is I threw away the bottle it is the I put it in my last video actually um, for work for refreshing curls it is the Cantu curl refresher I just in my last video I even said it I just didn't like the spray pump on it so I just poured it in here and I've been using it like that since because well why not that was my only issue that's an easy issue to fix. So I get this wet. Um, you can get it soaked. You can get it wet. You can damp it. Just wet. Um, I've never tried it just with dry curls or dry hair. I'm sure it's totally possible. Some videos that I've seen with it done, they didn't come out that great, but whatever. And then I use the Curl Maker by Camille Rose, one of my favorites. And I just used a little bit of this just a little and I'm going to put it through like so I'm going to make this into two separate um, curls so I'm just going to grab this throw it on the top and then get this and then I will get a pink rod usually the ones at the bottom I use bigger rods so I'm going to use a pink one and it's pretty simple so this little curl that's something um 
it's kind of like hit or miss. Sometimes I can get it within the curling rod and it's good. Other times I'll have little curls like that that just stick out. And honestly, it's at the bottom of my head. So I don't even, I don't even care all that much. It's just getting the most of it. So I get it at the very end. And this part's important to make sure that you get your edges. So going over it just a tad and then just curling up like so until you get up to the top. See, I missed the curl, but it's okay. <laughs> and then you just bend it down to secure. Easy, right? You can kind of tug it, make sure it's there. And let me grab that other little piece. Let's see, did I lose it? There's no way. It literally was wet and now it's dry. What the heck? Oh, there it is, okay. Thought I lost the piece I just did. All right, and it's the same idea with this piece. Go like this, get a little bit of my gel. Now you don't have to use, um, so I've seen some people do it where they literally, they just get the curls wet and then they put any or all of their products after they do the curls. Um, well, after they take the curling rods out. Um, my only issue with that is once my curling rods are out, I want my curls to be defined as possible. So I tend to stay away from just waiting till afterwards because then at that point I would have to get a straight spray bottle. Then I would have to, from there, put the product in the spray bottle that I want on my curls. And then I'm gonna re-wet my curls, which is just gonna bring my curl pattern back. So that kind of defeated the whole purpose of this whole little thing. So I try to make sure any product, any anything besides for like a refresher spray or something like that, I try to make sure that I just do it, just do it beforehand. Just, just do it right now. And then I'm just gonna do this section real quick. Like so, wrap that back here, get a little bit of this. So this process really doesn't take that long, like I said. It's more of the, I'm gonna put a little bit more. It's more of the, it's a waiting game. So you just have to be ready for that. And then I come down to the end. And just like before. Also a side note is the closer you put your curls, so closer this is or further away, is gonna define how your curls come out. So if you put them really close, they're gonna come out really close. If you separate them, they'll come out looser. Totally however you want it to look is how they'll come out. All right, so this is the idea of it. I'm going to do all the way up to the last section of my hair off camera and I will be right back as soon as that's. All right, and I'm back. I'm on my very last, last section of hair. I was gonna leave more, but then I got on the phone. I started talking to my dad and then you know, you know you just start doing mindless stuff and that's what I was doing. So this is what I have left over. I already put gel in it as well. Like I said, the curl maker as well as the curl revive thing from Can2. So it is literally just waiting to be put in its thing. Let me try to separate, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna grab this. And just like before, right now I'm gonna grab a green. And I'm gonna actually wet the end just a tad because I'm seeing with my other ones that it is important to have those ends wet so it actually stays. And then I'm just gonna roll it here, roll this on there. And basically what I try to do, just like I said before, when I'm rolling the end is try to kind of almost um layer it because you really want your ends to stick on the rod um so yeah just keep that in mind your ends are super important in this they're always super important but especially in this so just like you can kind of see on these ones they're kind of dry so i'm just going to spray it a little bit i'm going to do a purple one this time like I said, a lot of people just do, well, I don't know if I said that already, but a lot of people do the same size rods, which is fine. Their curls still come out looking absolutely beautiful. Um, I just, because, and I even bought this packet with the idea that it came in different sizes. 
So I wanted to make sure that that's what I did, that I used different size rods throughout my hair because I like to have volume and different curl sizes. And I think it just comes down to how do you want your hair to look? Um, what do you want for your curls? Yada, 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 yada. So yeah, this is my last one. And then it's time to wait and dry. Let's see, getting it around. Curling it, there we go. And this one's not gonna be that great. So I have to keep that one in mind. There we go, my hair is completely wrapped up. It feels so weird. But I'm going to do a half and half, so I'm going to let it air dry for a little bit, then I'll probably the blow dry it for a little bit, and then I will be back. I'll take these down, style it, and yeah. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, hey guys. So I actually fell asleep with these in my hair. Um, I went to bed basically. So I didn't blow dry or anything like that. They just air dried. These are literally the most uncomfortable things to sleep with in your hair. And I didn't even realize it till last night. But we can take them out now. They're all completely dry so I guess we'll just start here Let's see so just whoo these are tight curls holy crap so all I'm doing is straightening these out Ooh. and pull in and I'm getting these tight tight curls Ooh. oh yeah I'm looking like a three-year-old already Okay, so I think you guys get the idea. Straight, pull, all right. So I'm going to take the rest of these out and I will be right back. Me hair. <laughs> Yo, all right. So I need to start separating these. Literally, I just take my hand out and I just start bringing them down some and just letting the curl these are frizzing. Okay. Maybe not doing like that. I'm just going to go run my hair hand through. I honestly have, I've never had them come out this tight. So we'll see how this, how this goes. I know my hair is going to look 10 times freaking shorter though. I'm looking and I have my mirror over here and I'm looking and this is not, this is not cute, this is not cute and I have to go to work this morning <laughs> so if this doesn't work I don't know what I'm going to do. Alright, where's my comb? I'm trying to kind of do it how I would, because when I started to pull them apart, um, like a lot of people, they'll pull the curls and let them fall. I think for just my hair, um, it just frizzes it out. So I'm not, I'm not trying to pull the curls apart. Just more like puff them out, if that makes sense. Kind of break them down. So I'm going to do this and try to get the curls to break apart a tad. I look like I'm from like the 80s or something. Like, <laughs> I haven't had this shirt of hair in a minute. I'm probably gonna um, redo my bangs. Cause this is, this is not the business. The curls came out fine. Like it did its job. Hooray, that looks great. The problem is its job looks like shit on my head. Ah, this is like, uh. see yesterday, or not even, it was a couple days ago I tried this before I did this video. And the problem was when I took my, my rollers out, I took it out when it was still wet but I was like, okay, it's fine. I'm going to um, blow dry them. So they, 
they didn't dry all the way with the curlers in, which I think is what is making the difference right now. So, yeah, there's that. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what did it is because I actually let let my curls like sit in there and then it got a little bit too tight so maybe leaving this in for so long wasn't the best idea but I was so tired Let's see like this is way too way too much well guys i'm gonna be right back um right now this is what it looks like i'm actually gonna go style it and i will be back and show you guys the finished results so stay tuned <laughs> 